Hey everyone, in this video we will share with you all the best things to do in Unawatuna in Sri Lanka. Unawatuna was the last stop of our travel in Sri Lanka, but it is without a doubt a must to stop places and is one of the top beaches destinations in Sri Lanka. In fact, many people travel to Sri Lanka only to visit Unawatuna and its surrounding, like Gali Fort another really touristic places in Sri Lanka located next to Unawatuna. So, if you too are planning a trip to Sri Lanka and are considering Unawatuna, then let's dive into those best things to do in Unawatuna. Let's start with the obvious. Gal Fort is a must to visit. The old fort was built in 1588 by the Portuguese. It was then extensively fortified by the Dutch during the 17th century. The old fort is filled with old buildings, shops, stores and restaurants. It's the perfect place to enjoy some colonial experience and get lost in an old town. There is even a beach in the old fort if you want to rest for a while. But what we preferred was to simply stroll around and try to visit all of its streets. After all, the old fort isn't that big. Turtle Beach, also called Dalawela Beach or even Villara Beach, is the most famous beach around Nawatuna. The reason for that is that the beach offers a natural pool, where you are sheltered from the strong ocean waves. It's therefore really enjoyable to swim there. But the best part in that is that many turtles reside in a natural pool formation. So that's a spot where seeing a turtle is always guaranteed, and you won't even need to snorkel. On the other side of the beach, you can also find a swing rope. Unfortunately, you will have to pay to use it. And a little bit further, you can still see some stilt fisherman poles still tending in the water. Renoela Beach is one of our favorite beaches in Noatuna. The beach offers a picturesque stretch of golden sands that softly meet the azure water of the Indian Ocean. We visited it early morning. And what we really enjoyed there was actually seeing local fishermen fishing. Next to Renuela Beach are the Talpe Natural Pools. Locals carved these rectangular pools over 50 years ago in the coral reef. They were filling them with coconut husk to soak them to separate the coral from the husk. This was done mainly during April and May when the weather was clear and the water calm. However, once the importance of the coral reef understood, the locals abandoned this practice and moved their pits to the land. Jungle Beach is another one of the best beaches in Unawatuna. The beach is hidden behind the jungle, so to access it, you will have to hike a little bit. But don't worry, it isn't too long nor too hard. Jungle Beach has two parts that are connected through a small trail. However, each part is completely secluded from the other. It's a nice beach to rest at and to enjoy the calm water of Sri Lanka. And it's usually not too crowded. Well, you do visit Unawatuna for the beaches. So, the next best things to do in Unawatuna is Unawatuna Beach itself, which is most probably the longest beach of the area. Unawatuna Beach is located right on the main street of Unawatuna. It's however a more developed beach with lots of restaurants, cafe and water activity on it. The final place on our best things to do in Unawatuna is the Japanese Peace Pagoda. In 1947, a Japanese Buddhist monk by the name of Nichida Tsufuji dedicated his life to constructing peace pagodas around the world as symbols of peace. He built more than 80 of them all around the world, and one of them is in Unawatuna. Its clean, rounded design is intended to represent harmony between people of any and all backgrounds. The immense white stupa that rises out of the Japanese Peace Pagoda is surrounded by statues painted in gold, while a nearby flight of stairs leads to a walkway that goes around the shrine, offering breathtaking views of the jungle, the sea, and even the stunning Gal Fort. And that's it! But we would also recommend that you take time enjoying your accommodation. 
and its swimming pool, especially during the hottest hours of the day. And do try some of the restaurants in Nunawatuna. They are, unfortunately, more expensive than elsewhere in the country, but are quite good, and with so many of them, you can really experience new flavors. And if you want to save time planning your trip to Sri Lanka and later travel worry-free, we created a digital map with over 200 pins, including things to do, restaurants, accommodations, points of interest, trails, routes, and so much more. With this map, you will have all the information you need to travel in Sri Lanka. And guess what? It works on Android or Apple phones, as well as PCs. In bonus, you get lifetime access as well as all the future updates. So if you want to know more about our Sri Lanka travel map, we put a link in the description.